Are you going to ask me? All right, now first? we're recording. So, all right, because I am Specialist Guy Malinsky, Washington National Guard. This is Specialist Woman, Washington National Guard. And what are we doing here, Specialist Woman? Well, as you see, we have a couple lanes up here. We've had some zombie activity in these derelict buildings in this little Salem, little country town. We're just trying to clear it out, trying to get, keep everybody safe. Uh, we haven't had any casualties come through just yet, but we have had some gunshots in these surrounding buildings. All right, well, why don't we take a walk down there and see? So, yeah. so how, how how common are these things? Well, we're thinning out the herd slightly, but it's still a really menacing threat. Yeah, people don't know that it's actually a biological threat, not a chemical or radiological, like people are uh, meant to know. That's a super common misconception, but biological as it is, it's like a, a rash, something you say. It's something in the environment that you just have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, the best really can. It brings up, I think in America it springs out fairly commonly, I'd say once every three months somewhere in America. All right. Now, you see this big building right here? Yeah. We yeah. already cleared this one out about two hours ago. But we're still hearing noises, we still hear some scraping around in there. We think there might be a couple little things still going on. But we're going to send another sweep through there. And I just said we're right now set up for any possible contamination. All right, and the point of this right now is to decon any of our guys or any civilians that are caught. Absolutely, anything from a slight uh, blood splatter to a full-on bite or a penetrating wound. Fun fact, not everyone who gets bitten transforms. Uh, I know there's exactly. a lot of misconception with all the movies and stuff going on. You know, fairly common, you see these guys just laughing. I mean, it's, it's a pretty safe thing. A full-blown epidemic is pretty much not likely to happen. You have to have a predispositioned ability to get turned into one. Absolutely. Not only that, but it's a bite that really kills you. You already have the strand available in your stream to turn into this zombie or this, this flesh eater or this... Biggest misconception is that they don't go for the brain. A lot of TV shows put that out that they eat brain, but no. But nevertheless, we take this quite seriously. Absolutely, it's a it's a it's a huge operation uh, we have going right now. We liaison with uh, several different uh, guard agencies, and uh, even the Homeland uh, Response. Yeah, so you can see their major vehicle. It's just on the other side of this tent. We got to get to their vantage point to really. All right, let's take, take a, a walk. Good? Yeah. Yeah, just watch a step, watch a step. Of course, of course. I mean, we, we don't really choose the areas these things happen at. And no. we got the best option, best place where to do it. Yeah, you notice how it's it's basically a, a backyard. But you got to do what you got to do, or with what you have. And so around this corner, nice fresh mud. Actually, it does slow down the zombie herd. Well, that, that just turned out to be advantageous. Right now we're being by the generators, so we probably won't be able to hear much. We got a huge generator, farm, factory setup, stretchers, any wounded. Now these mobile stations up here are the Homeland Defense. They're fairly well organized and they're the, really the first responders. You well, see another one of our derelict buildings. Oh. Yet to be cleared out, but we haven't heard a whole lot of activity from it. That's one of our next major hotspots to hit. We have MPs around the whole area containing the situation so it doesn't spread. A perimeter is super important in a situation like this. We control what's going on on the site, but we have to control what's going on around the site as well. That we do. And we have a... I'll take a look at this building again. I think right. there right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw so. some movement up in the upper building. Just making the final sweep through. Yeah, you see the shadows playing in there. There's definitely somebody walking around in there. Trying to take care of business, clean up the mess. That's yeah. another thing. You don't want wild animals eating this stuff. No, it's seldom they turn to zombies because it's mostly a human strain, I guess. But Yeah, it's more of the zombies carrying it, or more of the, um, the animals carrying it to another person, buying a person, kind of like rabies, but more human. Human selective. Right. And the person actually has to die of their own accord and then become a zombie. Right, absolutely. Alright, cool. Well, we'll get some more footy footy next and, uh, you know, hopefully this has been informative for people who didn't know this was a big issue. 
Signing off. No, just definitely the first. I've been Specialist Guy Milinski. Specialist Wolin, thank you for the opportunity for this interview. All right, bye.